to start creating our logo, let's first pick the text tool from the Photoshop toolbar. You can find the text tool represented by the T icon. With the text tool selected, click anywhere on your canvas and type in the name you want for your logo. Now, let's center the text on our canvas. You can use the Move tool to drag the text to the center. Adjust the size of the text to your liking. Select the text tool once more and click below your main text to add the subtitle. Similar to what we did with the main text, use the Move tool to center the subtitle. To make further edits, right-click on the main text layer and select Rasterize. This will convert the text into an editable image layer. Click on the background layer, then go to the Adjustment Layer menu and choose Solid Colors. Pick the color you prefer. For this tutorial, we'll use black. Select the Ellipse tool from the toolbar. Draw an ellipse shape on your canvas. Hide the stroke of the ellipse shape and change its color to a shade that complements your logo. Reduce the opacity slightly so that the background color shows through. Press Ctrl plus T to transform the ellipse. Adjust its size to your liking. Press Ctrl plus C to copy the ellipse shape. Now, press Ctrl plus Shift plus V to paste the copied ellipse in place. Modify the color of the newly pasted ellipse. Again, press Ctrl plus T, hold the Shift key to maintain proportions, and drag it from the bottom to the top of the canvas. Move the ellipse slightly downward to achieve the desired look. Hold the Shift key and select both ellipse layers in the Layers panel. Then, go to the Layer menu, choose Combine Shapes, and select Subtract Front Shape. Increase the opacity of this new shape to 100%. Right-click on the Shape layer and select Rasterize. This will make it a regular image layer. Select the Eraser tool from the toolbar and use it to remove any unwanted areas within the shape. Click on this layer, press Ctrl plus C to copy it, and then Ctrl plus Shift plus V to paste it in place once again. Reduce the opacity of the duplicated shape and move it slightly upward to create more depth and dimension. Hold the Ctrl key and click on the duplicated shape layer to make a selection. Click on the main text layer and press the Delete key to remove the portion of text covered by the selection. Press Ctrl plus D to deselect the selection. You can now safely delete the duplicated shape layer we used for masking. Click on the main text layer, then pick the Quick Selection tool from the toolbar. Use the Quick Selection tool to make selections around these parts of the text. Right-click and choose Layer via Cut to separate these selected parts onto their own layer. Hold the Control key and select these two layers. Right-click and choose Merge Layers to combine them. Right-click on the Merge layer and go to Blending Options. Choose Color Overlay and select any color that complements your design. Right-click on this layer and go to Blending Options. Choose a different color for this part of the text. Lastly, click on the subtitle text layer and adjust its position. Press Ctrl plus T, hold Shift and drag it upward to fine tune its placement.
And there you have it. You've successfully created your own logo in Photoshop, complete with background elements and custom text effects. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel for more exciting Photoshop tutorials and design tips. Thanks for watching.